Welcome to another special episode of Supernatural Stories. This episode is called Food Delivery Rider Chased by a Pochon. And if you like our stories, please consider subscribing and press the bell notification button to not miss any other episode. Today's story is from UXM and it features Mr. Joe who would like to share his story as a food delivery rider. The story starts here. This story happened to me three years ago, back when I worked as a food delivery rider. At that moment, the delivery company just started the night shift delivery. So it's like, you start from 11 and it ends at 2. It is great for me, as I am in need of extra money, as I am going to get married soon. So, when it rolled out, I figured I should give it a try, but I did not expect my first time to be the last time due to the experience I had. The paranormal story starts here. The whole day was fine. I had enough order and I thought this would be my last order. The time was late. It was after midnight. So I parked my motorcycle in the car park and walked towards the block to send the food to the unit. In the lift, I waited till I've reached the seventh floor and I went out to the corridor towards the unit. While walking, I thought to myself, this place is very quiet and creepy, but I continued my journey to the unit. Seven, two, four, one. When I reached the unit, I knock on the door, waiting for someone to open the door. I said, Hello? Sir, your is here. After I realized the window shutters were open, I opened it to see if there's anyone at home. What I saw in the dark was a pochong in the living room and the guy popping out of nowhere asking me to pass the food through the window. While passing him the food, I saw the pochong standing straight then facing towards me. Suddenly, the person closed the window shutters fast. I was taken aback and I quickly ran towards the lift lobby. Thinking about it, did I really see a pochong in the man's house? While waiting for the lift, I had an eerie feeling that someone was following me. But then, the sound of the lift shocked me. So, I went to the lift, walked towards the car park, and went home. When I reached the car park of my house, I walked towards my lift lobby and entered the lift, pressing the 13th floor. While in the lift on the way up, the lift suddenly stopped and I walked out of it, thinking it's the 13th floor. But to my surprise, the lift stopped at the third floor. So I entered the lift back and tried to close the door. At that moment, my heartbeat is racing. So I went out of the lift and walked down the stairs to the first floor and took another lift. As the lift that I have taken did not work well as I tried to close the door but it didn't close. In the other lift, it stopped again at the third floor. I pressed the close button again, but when it was about to close, it suddenly opened again. So I forced the lift door to close. At that moment, I was very scared as I felt there was something following me home. Suddenly, the lift started shaking and I could feel something jumping behind me. When I reached my floor, I ran out of the lift and while walking out, I suddenly stopped to hear sounds of something jumping in the back. I stood still and to my surprise, what I saw was a pochong jumping towards me. So I ran towards my house, unlocked the door and ran in slamming the door shut. While in my living room, I tried to compose myself, but then 
the house door had a begging noise. I was taken aback, looking at the door, shaking as if there's someone hitting it hard. So I got myself some courage to go towards the door and peep through the peephole. What I saw was a pochong using its head to knock on the house door. I moved back from the door, scared, and shouted for my mother. I shouted so loud until the whole house could hear me calling for my mother and everyone woke up. So, when my family member woke up, they all ran out to see me in a terrified state. And at that moment, the knocking sound was gone. After that encounter that day, I had a very high fever. The fever stayed for a week. I went to the doctor, but it did not heal. So my mother brought me to an ustad, a Muslim priest, for some treatment. Thankfully, the fever subsided and all is okay. Till today, I will still remember the incident that I had working for the night shift and I have stopped working in that line. Thank you for listening to Supernatural Stories and joining us for this very special episode brought to us by UXM. And thank you to UXM for allowing us to use your stories in this episode. And you guys can subscribe to them. They are an amazing YouTube channel. And also, if you would like to watch the full episode by UXM, you can press the video on the top right. And if you would like to watch another Supernatural Stories, you can click the video below. All videos will also be in the link down below. Thank you and good night.